Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is my week one update for June's 30-day challenge, which for me is arm and strength training. Now, I don't have any updates on measurements yet. I think one week in is a little bit early, but I am going to talk a little bit about my routine. I'm going to talk about lessons learned, and I'm going to talk about some things I'm going to do going forward. So first off, I've really been kind of mixing up my routine in terms of what I'm doing. Uh, I, I still need to dial in, I think, what is the ideal workout. Right now, it's just sort of experimentation. I'm doing uh, the grippers, the captains of crush, doing, doing them both, you know, this way as well as inverted, which is harder. I've been doing the extensor ring is what I'm going to call it. And one of the things that I did do is I bought some more of these and have placed them sort of strategically around the house, similar to my reading glasses. That way, I've always got one handy. If I'm just doing something like watching TV or surfing the web or something like that, I can put one of these on and get a little bit of a sort of a freebie workout. Additionally, I'm thinking about starting to take a couple of these along with me, one for each hand for when I'm out doing my morning walk, just Again, it's one of those things where I can kind of multitask. I can be squeezing one of these while I'm out walking and get a little bit of a bonus forearm workout. I've also started to do some hangs from a pull-up bar, and that leads me to one of my other little lessons learned slash things I'm going to be doing going forward. I found that the knurling on that bar, as well as the knurling on these Captains of Crush grippers, are kind of doing a little bit of a number on my hands. Uh, in terms of creating some some callus, which I don't know that I mind so much, but Terry has said that she doesn't want my hands all calloused up. Now, I have a confession to make. Back in my going to the gym sort of days, which was quite a while ago, I had sort of a smug attitude about the people that wore lifting gloves. I, I thought, you know, toughen up, buttercup, but I've changed my tune on that, or or my wife has changed my tune. However, rather than getting weightlifting gloves, I decided instead to get these mechanics gloves. I just went to the, the hardware store and got these. I, just, I find they're you know, really, really comfortable, and yeah, this is what I'm going to be using now for the grip exercises and for the hanging, just you know, to be easier on my hands. And while I'm not prepared yet to issue any sort of a verdict or review on these little extensor thingies, I can tell you that those grips that I showed last week. Um, there's the fat grips, and then I bought a different one called um, Power Grips or Gorilla Grips or something like that. Anyhow, uh, the, the fat grips that I had bought were two inch. These other ones that I bought are 2.75, and I put those on my straight bar. You can see in this video here that they don't, the, the, the interior diameter of these is not as big as they are on the fat grips. So you do have a little bit of a gap there and you got to kind of you know, aim that away from where your fingers are. Here's the fat grips and you can see those wind up pretty tight. Again, though, you still want to keep that seam away from your hands because I'm sure you can pinch some skin in there and that would be pretty uncomfortable. Anyhow, what I can tell you about both of these sets of grips is it makes the weights feel way heavier. It is unbelievable the, the sort of pump that I'm getting in my forearms and through my biceps using these things. It is, it's really intense and difficult and I'm prepared after one week to say these, these things are the real deal and I'm going to continue to use them. But that's really probably it for this week's update. Next week, I'm going to show a couple of other devices that I'm using to help build up some forearm strength and grip. One is homemade and the other is store-bought, but I'll show those both to you next week. And now it's your turn. If you've been doing some sort of strength training this month, how's it been going for you? Anything that you've learned that you'd like to share with the rest of us? And if you're doing some other sort of challenge for the month of June, as always, I'm curious to hear how it's going. Let me know down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.